In this lesson, we're going to explore the grid layout. So let's start reviewing the grid layout structure. First of all, I'll remove this XAML code and then let's add a grid layout. A grid or grid layout is used to display the items in a row or a column. You can either use grid or grid layout. Both these layouts have the same functionality. But in the latest version of Dot and Movie, they have removed the grid layout because of the ambiguity between the grid and the grid layout. So we have only one option and that is to use the grid. Okay, let's add a grid. And inside this grid, we can use three properties for height and width. And these are auto, proportional, and absolute. I want to tell you that we can use row definition and column definition inside our grid layout. For rows, we'll measure row height and for columns, we'll measure column width. Okay, let's design that kind of page. Here we have six button controls. We'll use two columns and three rows for these button controls. So let's add row definition and here we'll define the height of our rows. We have three rows, so let's add the first row height with some absolute value. Let's add 100 units. Absolute value means no matter what kind of device we'll use, our control will always use this 100 units of height. Now we'll use auto height, which means our row will occupy the height according to our control content. So we'll use auto here. Then we'll explore the proportional height. We'll represent proportional with static. And that static means our control will occupy the remaining space on the screen. Okay, now let's use the column definition. And here we'll use two columns with the same width. So we'll add static, comma, static, which represents two columns with equal width. All right, now let's add six button controls with some background colors. All right, here we have added six button controls. Now let me tell you that in the grid layout, our rows and columns starts with the zero index, just like arrays. So we'll put this button control inside the zero row and zero column using grid dot row equals zero and grid dot column equals zero. Similarly, we'll put this button control in zero row and first column. For your satisfaction, I'll add a text property of button controls and here I'll write the row number and column number. Then we'll add this control in the first row and zero column. And then put this control in the first row and first column. Similarly, we'll add this button control in the second row and zero column. And this last button control in the second row and the first column. Okay, here on the device screen, you'll see this design. You'll clearly see that these two button controls will occupy the absolute values for height, which is 100 units. The other two button controls will occupy the value for height according to the content of button controls. If we will increase the text of these two button controls, then we'll see an automatic change in these two button controls. 
And for the last two button controls, we have used the proportional height, which means our button controls will occupy all the remaining space on the device screen. Okay, now let's explore the grid layout further in the next lesson.